My husband told me never to stop and get gas at night, but I'm a type B mom and I was on M. All right, 95 Rucas, unfavorable opinion. opinion. All right, now this video is an awareness video, TikTok. It's just for awareness, safety awareness, situational awareness. This is not in any way disclaimer. We're not bashing this woman. We're not bashing her or anything like that. However, we do have some uh, very good information yes. for anyone any women i'm gonna say women because of videos about a woman from personal experience yes personal experience so again i'm evelyn this is emily 2017 we became homeless with six kids we're sisters we had to live in my honda pilot okay so i did have a husband like you said right you should have listened to your husband husbands are usually always right when it comes to situational awareness so women please be mindful of that yes uh again we're unfavorable opinions so you can agree to disagree uh now I understand you said you had you were on E. You had to put gas. I understand that. My question is, if you're ever in that situation, women, and you do have kids with you, you don't have to fill up your tank. You just fill it up enough to where you get enough gas in there to get where you need to go. And you don't necessarily have to have the pump in it. Now, that was the next car. thing I was going to talk about. Exactly. Um, you mentioned you had a 13-year-old boy with it. Now, I know they're children. Yes. We don't know what could have happened. I get it. I get it. I totally get it. That is very creepy. I do agree with you in that. However, I because again, because we, became, we were homeless and I did have a son at the time and my son was practice 10. Buddy system. My son was 10. He was a little scrawny 10 year old that was like 90 pounds. But I had to teach him, hey son, look, let me teach you how to put gas, right? And so from 10 years old and on, he I would pay for the gas. I taught him how to pay the gas. And again, every kid is different. Mm -hmm. So maybe your kid is not ready, but it's always good. It's a good life lesson to yes. teach him. So by the time we were, again, we did this very, we did this in the summer. And by the time my son was getting a little bit older, he already knew how to do it. So he, I would pay for the gas. He would pump the gas. Uh, another thing, do not, that was, that was not a good idea. Ladies, men, whoever, don't put your pump in there and then walk away yes. and get in your car. Uh, that makes it inviting. It, it, it makes it wondering, like, you know, of course, it's suspicious. Again, so I, if I would have done, if I were you, what I would have done is I would have had your son pump the gas. Wait out there. Nine times out of ten, I guarantee you that man probably wouldn't, wouldn't have approached approach. your son. I've seen it happen. It doesn't happen. These predators, they're looking for women. Even likely. if you have your window cracked, yes. you, don't, you can just tell them. You didn't have to respond. Yes. So number, another thing I want to go back to. So, so there's, again, this is not a bashing video. This is a self-awareness video. This is a situational awareness video. Another thing, though, anytime you're in that situation, get into the habit. Families, get yes. into the habit. Hey, look, hon, I know you don't like me putting gas at night. I'm stopping at this gas station. This is the location. Send. Here's the address. Take a picture and send it. Or so can you meet me halfway do. if you can? If you can. But if you can't, at least let somebody know, like your husband, yes. where you were at. Then you, the 911 thing, you should have just called. You should have just called. Yeah. Well, as soon as you saw that police officer, you should have made noise, honked your horn, oh, yes. caught the attention, and had the officer go over and there. And again, you don't owe anyone anything. No, you so do anybody not. approaches your window, even if it's not rolled down. You don't down. even have to answer. We've yeah. had that happen many yes. times, especially in the wintertime. Now that we're getting a little... The and we don't have husbands. We're just no, always alone don't. and don't we're single. So that we always try to do the buddy So these system. are things that we had to learn once there was no man in the house. Yes. And we're with kids. I was, had six kids. I had a brand new baby. And, you know, my oldest at the time was, like, 14. Uh, so these are things you have to learn. Use your voice. Yes. You don't have but, to necessarily be rude. at the end of the day, though, you do not have – you could, you didn't have to respond at all. Yeah, I, even nothing. though your pump was yeah, in nothing. there, you did not have to respond. It doesn't matter if your window was cracked open. Neither did your son. Nobody had to respond. Yeah. What you could have done also – I'm just telling you what you could have done or to anybody who's watching this, okay? Again, you have a phone. The phone is your weapon, oh, yes. guys. You could have looked up the gas station number, called, hey – I, let, I have some weird guy out here. Can you please come out here? Can you please help me out here? They most yeah. likely will come out. Or have out. your they kids, if they answer. have a phone, call yes. a family member. Or yes. So I'm glad that nothing else happened. I'm glad that the guy ended up leaving. Yes. We have been in that situation where you have really aggressive people. And oh, you yes. have to stand your ground. There's no running And away. it doesn't matter how ridiculous you might look yes. to the public. If you're yes. honking or anything. When, it, when your safety, like you said, right? Like you told your sons. When your safety is at risk. All bets are off. You yeah. don't have time to feel about people's. And you said yeah. you're, you're empathetic. I get it. I get it. We're the same way. I always yeah. want to help people if I can. But again, once that guy that was awkward, yeah. hey, man, you go pay the cash at the window like everyone mm -hmm. else. You didn't have to respond. Um, but I do think that if your son would have been pumping the gas, I don't think he would have approached you. Or even if you would have been pumping the gas yes. and you would have been there, 
once you see that, I, again, I've learned the criminal mind somewhat because, we, unfortunately, we were on the street. So when you're pumping gas, you usually yeah. have the kids lock the doors. Yes. And then when you unlock them. Even when you're pump. alone. So even when you're alone you, and you have to pump gas. As soon as you get in your car. Lock. Lock those no, doors. as soon as you get out of your car to pump gas. Lock Vice your fucking yes. car. Yes. Lock, car stays locked at all times. Yes. Okay, don't leave it open just to run here. No, lock your car. Um, again, always let somebody know where you're at. Text them, hey, look, I'm here. Or take a picture or send the location. Yes. I don't know. I, I'm not tech savvy, so I don't know how to do that. But I will put an address. I'll send a text or whatever. Please watch your your gas. Yes, that's another thing. Get it. Women have a bad habit. I have many friends. I used to oh, do yes. too. As soon as you turn on that fucking car, look at your needle. Where is your needle? Again, try to keep that car full. At Anything least can happen. Tank. At least half a tank. Once you get to that quarter, if you have money, fill it up. Yeah. No reason for cars to be on empty there's no reason dude and i'm a single mother and i struggle every fucking day dude and i'm okay lately i have been doing that i'm yeah. bad but again i have been in situations where i'm on e hey i know my car gives me 40 miles i don't risk it i will stop at right. a gas station but i don't fill it up there while i'm there ten dollars max give me 100 miles 100 miles gets you anywhere yeah. gets you anywhere for being fall whatever 100 miles guys if you have a husband if Listen you have, yes, to your yes, husbands. If you, again, and this isn't, again, this isn't a bashing video or nothing. This is an awareness video. But again, if you are married, unfortunately, I don't have that luxury. Neither does she. We don't have that luxury. But yeah. if you have a husband, listen to your husband. Listen. And, and, and this has nothing to do with women's rights and all yeah, that nothing shit. Nothing like that. Just the respect of a protector. Your husbands are supposed to be your protector. So if they're telling you this, they're telling you this for a reason. Yes. It's not because they're controlling. It's not. I mean, they're. There's a and this is just there. our opinion. This is just our unfavorable opinion. But I'm glad that you're safe. And again, please teach your son to pump the gas. Um, and, and again, too, first thing you do to get in the car, ladies, gentlemen, anyone, look at your gas needle. That's the first thing. Check your gas needle. Check your temperature gauge. Uh, what else? Make sure your lights are working. Oh, uh, definitely. So you don't get pulled over. Tire uh, pressure, if you don't. Tire pressure, yeah. That, all that stuff. And you know what? If you don't know about it, ladies, you can go into an oil changers or one of those drive-up places, and they'll check your tire pressure. They'll check your gauges for free. Yes. Uh, just, especially since winter's coming and all that stuff, right? Pressure holiday season's all, coming holidays, up. Holiday season's coming. So, again, be mindful. I, I do it myself sometimes, too. Yes. You, 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 you're so involved in what you're doing. Yeah. You're with kids. Get the kids in the fucking car as soon as you get home. Groceries and all that can be replaced. A child missing, a child swapped from you is yeah. not. So again, because it's holiday season, I'm glad you did this video. I'm sorry that happened to you. I'm glad you're okay. But now that we're getting into holiday yes. seasons, be careful, guys. You're with kids. You have to go shopping. There's no other thing. It's it's evening. Get in, get out. Something doesn't feel right. You're in the store. Get the fuck out. Yeah, and you don't have to engage in conversation tomorrow. with anyone. You don't. You don't. But again, your voice is your biggest weapon and your phone is your biggest weapon. Doesn't matter. And you if you don't look have rude. to do that yeah. pretend bullshit. Yeah. No, just you don't need like, to be showing. I'm gonna call the police. To. Look, no, you, you just do it. Get the fuck out if you can. Uh, so thank you guys. Have a good night and be safe.